What's going on everybody? Today I want to show you a, a weird trick that I learned in working in Tinkercad and then designing the Tinkercad design and taking it to Bamboo Slicer, especially if you're coloring the design. So real quick, we'll get into it and I'll show you what I'm talking about over here. So in Tinkercad, let's say if you want to design a keychain or something like that, right? So let's just take this down and let's just make this, uh, I don't know, five millimeters, okay? And uh, so let's say there's a key tag here and then you want to add, then you want to add a, a text on top of it and then you want to color it. So I'm going to add the text over here and let's just say for the sake of argument let's just call it my name parrot king okay and then i'm holding shift and i'm dragging one of the corners down to keep the proportions so this is five millimeter high okay and then i'm gonna make this five millimeter high as well you can make it really whatever it doesn't really matter so if you bring it here let me make this a little bit bigger uh okay there we go so if we bring this here, right, and let's say we want to color this, and I'm going to make it now. If you want to raise it up, I raise it up two millimeters, okay? So something as simple as that, if I was to, like, take the whole thing, you can group it if you want. Um, doesn't really matter. So if you take the whole thing and export it to a STL, and then let's see what it does in uh, Bamboo Slicer, right? Uh, so let me go to Bamboo. Let me go to Videos. And let me just say Tinkercad example. Okay. So now if we open up our slicer, let's go over here and go to the STLs or was it here? Videos and Tinkercad example right here. Okay. So now let's say I want to paint this, right? So let's go over here and let's go to the paint section. Now you could just do this, pick the fill option and then you can go boom, 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 boom. But then you got to remember you got to get the sides too. Okay. So you got to, you can do it like that or you can do the height okay we know it's two millimeters okay so you can set the height range to two millimeter and then you can just take the whole thing and boom amazing right okay so if you go ahead and slice that let me move my uh face from here so you guys can see all the options uh let me go here and let me bring over here okay so if we slice it okay we can see that it's obviously is going to do the block white and then it's going to fill it up with a color okay now that works fine and dandy but what if you wanted to do flat okay so let me ungroup this real quick okay so this is five and this is five right so let me if you click on the name and you hit d it'll drop to the ground okay so it dropped to the ground so now it's flat with the with the base right so let's group this thing and then let's export this and then see if we try to color it what happens well nothing's gonna happen because it just took it as a whole block so here we'll show you Let's go over here for the sake of argument. We'll show you this one too. Tinkercad example, and we're gonna replace it. And then we're gonna come over here and boom, boom. Tinkercad example right here. Okay. Well, we're not gonna get anything. There's nothing there. Okay. Because we did the we did the whole thing. Let me erase all the painting. It's not gonna take anything, obviously. Okay, so that makes sense, right? But if we go here and then ungroup it let's just say if you just leave it ungrouped and you take the whole thing and you export it okay stl i'm showing you all the ways and and, and what i've learned what works tinkercad example and replace it and then go back here and then bring this back in okay so this time we didn't group it okay but still it's not going to detect anything okay so what i've learned how to get around that if you're working in tinkercad it's so weird how I accidentally stumbled upon it. Um, I don't know if it's a thing or not. I don't know if it's a glitch, but whatever. It works, okay? So let's say we got this block right here, okay? But then you gotta, you gotta, the text is the last thing you're gonna do, okay? So we're gonna copy this, okay? We're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna turn it into a hole and control and up arrow is gonna bring it up, okay? So I wanna take it up as the same as five millimeters that's the height of the base okay so if i go back down drop it to the ground and then i come back up and i change this to five okay i want it right on top of that base okay and then i'm gonna group these two together okay now that i've grouped them together now let's bring this back in and let's take the whole thing i'm not gonna group it i'm gonna leave it just like this and i'm gonna export it stl and then let's do a ticker cat example as soon as it comes up Tinkercad example, replace it. All right, now let's see what happens. Bring this back in, 
Tinker Cat example. Now, you see this? How weird is that? <laughs> right? Now, I can sit there and I can pick every letter. Okay? And then if you go over here and you slice it, boom. It's going to do three layers of color and then finish it off, right? So usually on designs like this, what I do is I'll turn them upside down. Uh, I'll go like this and I'll turn them upside down 180 and it gives it that because it's a textured plate, it gives a really nice textured, textured finish, right? So that's the weird, you know, thing that I learned in Tinkercad. Um, it's really weird how it works out, but when I'm doing flat designs with different colors, that's what works out for me, okay? So I don't know, you know, uh, however, it works, but I hope this video helps you out, you know, if you like to work in Tinkercad, because I like to work in Tinkercad a lot too. So uh, I hope it helped you out. If it did, just hit the like and follow button, subscribe to the channel. I usually try to come up with quick videos to try to help out, you know, with the quick 3D designs that we do. And uh, especially tailored towards bamboo slices and bamboo printers, okay? Because I got two, I got a P1P and an X1. So um, like I said, I hope uh, it helped you guys out and I uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Thank you.